What's good with y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. And tonight, got a chance to check out the second episode of AEW Dynamite. And I must say, it was pretty enjoyable, not gonna lie. Uh, obviously, the best part for me of the show, uh, I did enjoy the tag team uh, match the first round. Or well, I think it was the, uh, I think they considered that the quarterfinals uh, between Private Party and the Young Bucks and the surprising uh, upset, which I like. Because you would think the Young Bucks would be the team to advance to the next round, but they kind of flipped the script and they went in a different direction and gave uh, the Private Party the, the win, which was dope. A nice little upset. Uh, Darby Allen uh, will be facing facing uh chris jericho next week for uh for the aew championship i'm liking this i'm liking how they're progressing storylines and feuds in between matches and this was the best segment for me personally jericho announcing his click his group and it was so dope and the little shots he sent at WWE was so priceless. He's so good on the mic. I'm looking forward to seeing what this heel faction will do. They also had a nice little brawl at the end of the show. I enjoyed it. It was dope seeing Cody come out there. All the faces that uh, aligned with Cody come out there and assist him and his brother and Hangman Page. So it was dope, man. I'm looking forward to just feuds coming from this. But let's check out this, this dope promo, one of the best parts of the show. And uh, let's see what it's all about. I already saw it, but I want to kind of get my thoughts on it again. It was dope. So let's get right into it. Man, this AEW is so refreshing after just a, a week of, well, a weekend of just just BS from the hell in the cell. I'll, I'll get back into that after this, after this clip. So let's get into it. Fucking love it. My name is Chris Jericho. That championship looks so good too. And I am a champion. <laughs> that championship looks so good. It looks better than almost every single championship in WWE, for sure. <laughs> love it. Such an arrogant heel. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Jericho. <laughs> He's a heel, but he has to heal it up, but the crowd loves him too. I like that. We are next. We are now. I like this. These are my confidants here, the four closest men to me that I've ever met. And people have been asking me all week, hey, Chris, we're the five of you. Are you still going to be aligned? Are you going to work together more? Do you have a name? The answer is yes. I like the name, too. And let me explain. Who we are and what we're about. Look at this guy right here, Sammy Guevara. Look at him. He looks like a Spanish god. This <laughs> is so silly, bro. Jericho is so funny. <laughs> I believe he's from Houston, too. I believe he's from Houston. Shout out to you, man. Represent the H. Simply amazing, and he is on my list. Hey, gotta love the list, man. Gotta love the list. And then look at these two psychos beside me right here, Santana and Ortiz. I like how my guy just has his tongue out like a, a just a, a crazed animal. I I like that. Like this. 
Like I said, this was easily one of the, my favorite parts of the show. Just, just was so dope. And that's why they made my list. Viva la raza. I like the Eddie chants, the little nod to Eddie. That's all, always great. R.I.P. Eddie, man. And then this man right here, this giant behind me. I like how he doesn't say anything. He doesn't say a single word, doesn't show no expression. I like that. Just very, very quiet, very just... Like, you know how you always have, like, a mob boss and they have that one guy on their, like, security detail. He doesn't say nothing. He doesn't make a lot of noise. You see him. You know he means business because he doesn't say nothing. His demeanor is always quiet, composed. I like that. You may think you know who he is, but his real name is Jake Hagar. And Jake Hagar. Jake Hagar. <laughs> they they chanted his old little slogan from WWE, We the People. So good. So good. I love this. Love this. This is how you take control over a crowd, bro. He saw the crowd taking over the promo with the We the People. I believe he uh was doing it in his uh MMA, like when he was fighting in MMA. Um uh, but the fact that he was able to take over the crowd, like, hey, 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 we ain't doing that no more. I like that. Jericho is so good on the mic. It was a stupid idea from bad creative and all that's gone. This is so good. I love that dig at WWE. We, <laughs> this goes back into what I was talking about before we started this video. Creative in WWE is atrocious. We saw that this Sunday. How bad creative is. I don't know what type of ideas are being thrown back there. But it is awful. The fact that we had a match of this magnitude of Hell in a Cell. End up in a, a no contest slash DQ. In a match that's not supposed to end like that. There's no DQs in. And... It ends off that way, and it ruins both the wrestlers' characters. That is bad creative writing. I don't know who pitched that in the meeting and thought that was good. I love this dig. This, oh, bro, AEW is 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 so good to have another alternative to to mainstream wrestling uh, outside of NXT. This is this is where it's at, man. This is so good. And then he just kept going, kept kept shooting his shots at WWE. I love it. Feared MMA fighter on the planet today, and guess what? He's undefeated, and that's a shoot. I like that was. I like that he's undefeated, and that's a shoot. I like that man just shooting shots because WWE got the Kane Velasquez and the Brock Lesnar. He's like, hey, it's cool. We got a guy that's undefeated. He's the real badass here. I love it. Fucking love it. That Just, makes him the toughest man in AEW. That makes him the toughest man in the entire professional wrestling business, baby. Fucking love this promo. So good. They're heels, but they're charismatic. So he's not Whoa. afraid to challenge any fighter, wrestler, boxer, MMA guy. I like that, man. Just subtle digs because they do got Tyson Fury going... After Braun Strowman, I just subtle digs, man. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. And there's no better person to make these subtle digs than Chris Jericho. He's great on a mic. He's so good. So good. It even gets better. The inner circle. I like it. I like the name, Inner Circle. And we're taking control of AEW. No matter who thinks they're in charge around here, we're in charge now. 
And I don't care if you're the Young Bucks or Kenny Omega. I like this. Stupid son of a bitch, Cody. Oh, yeah, let's talk about Cody. And I like how they keep kayfabe alive. They had a little press, uh, like conference. Uh, wasn't it? Was, yeah, it was like a press conference. I I'm not sure where it was at, but basically, uh, Cody attacked Jericho at the press conference, and I like how they keep that kayfabe going. That's so good. Kayfabe has died in wrestling, especially with social media. So to see stuff like that outside of the ring to keep the feud going. That's how you do it, man. That's what they were doing back in the day before social media. You can still incorporate kayfabe in, within the social media world we live in. And that was pretty dope, so. That's right. Challenging me on November 9th at full gear. Cody has been entitled from his favorite. This is so good. His entire life was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. His entire life. Well, you know what, Cody? I don't like you and I don't like your family. This is where I like this. It turns up here. I like this. It's getting a little personal. Your father, Dusty Rhodes, I think he was a jerk. This was, whoo, I like this. Real edgy. I like that, bro. I don't like your father. I know he's he's dead. I don't give a fuck. I never liked him. Like, I like that. It's fucking awesome, bro. Build up some good heel heat because everybody loves Dusty, man. So, build up some real good heel heat. Fucking love it, bro. And most importantly, Cody, on November 9th at full gear, when you challenge Le Champion for the AEW Championship, you know what's going to happen to you? Who that belt looks so fucking good. I'm going to beat the ever living shit out of you. I love it. I love it, bro. Just the edgy. I, that's what I like, bro. That's how you would really talk to someone. That's how you would really talk to someone if you're about to fight on them, bro. I'm about to beat the you know what out of you, man. I'm not gonna be I'm gonna beat the crapping the craps out of you or I'm gonna beat the stuffing out of you like WWE would probably have their people their wrestlers say, I'm gonna beat the stuffings out of you. No, I'm gonna beat the S out of you. I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> like that's how it would be. So uh, if you're really about to fight someone, you're not about to be friendly, you about to be vulgar. You letting them know I'm, I'm gonna whoop your ass, bro. I'm not gonna be friendly with you. TV 14, man. And then we're gonna walk the streets. And my favorite part is a bit of the bubbly. A little bit of the bubbly. You're welcome. Love it. I love it. I love it, man. And then, like I said earlier, before we got into it, they had their match. Uh, and they got uh, uh, Jericho's team won, I believe. And that's when uh, it just became all out brawl with everyone up the inner from the inner circle. And then, you know, you had the um, does uh, Cody come out. You had um, what's his name? Cody's best friend uh, come out. He, they kind of teased he was going to turn heel on him, but he didn't. He attacked everyone with a chair. And then you had the Young Bucks come out. It it was dope. Then you had Darby Allen come out. That was cool, bro. It was a nice little brawl. It it was dope. I enjoyed it. This is this was cool. I also liked the little segment with uh, Kenny Omega coming out there with barbed wire broom and a barbed wire bat and he came out there after uh um john moxley's match and they had a nice little interaction then you had uh Pac attack him from behind and i like how john moxley he didn't hit him he could have hit him with the bat wrapped in barbed wire but he didn't he just put it down like i, I like that just subtle just so like, i can kill you i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna destroy you later don't worry about it it's coming i love this can't wait to uh their their uh first pay-per-view post their their little promo run but post tnt like this is really gonna be their first pay-per-view they had other pay-per-views leading up to their tnt debut but now this is gonna be post tnt so i'm looking forward to them building this 
uh all the way through i believe it's in november can't wait for it i'm pretty i'm willing to bet it's going to be better than crown jewel because crown jewel is coming up next for wwe i know it's going to be better than that and it's going to definitely be better than the, the piece of garbage we saw at hell in a cell man but comment down below if you enjoyed chris jericho's shoot slash promo if you like his his new click he got right now if you enjoyed aew dynamite this week i enjoyed it i also watched a little bit of nxt but uh i enjoyed this a little bit more uh, i did but i did watch nxt and it was an overall cool show building storylines for their um for their future matches with uh undisputed era and all the uh, uh Tommaso Ciampa and also a Velveteen Dream for um uh I'm looking forward to all that too. Like, I don't get it twisted. I, I do enjoy what uh, NXT is doing, but right now AEW, man, they they're knocking it out the park. It's gonna be interesting to see what their ratings will be this week. But let me know, comment down below if you enjoyed this episode of AEW Dynamite. Let's start a discussion in the in chat. Well, not in the chat, in the <laughs> in the comment section. I'm tired, man. I've been up moving around. So, but I appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.